I haven't done one of these in a billion years. What's in my camera bag, including the new camera bag itself. Let's start with the camera bag itself. I love its name. It's the PGY Tech One Mo 22 liter backpack. Now I've had this backpack for five months and I've traveled with it and I've shot in and around my city with it as well. Now it's not going to cure all your solutions for larger tech items if you need to have multiple cameras, multiple lenses and so on and so forth. But it does pack a mighty punch in terms of what I was able to carry in it in my own way. What you'll immediately see on the zippers are flexible yet will build drawstrings. Upon opening, you'll see cargo space for a laptop and or an iPad. You'll also see a rubber band that can connect to the outside of the cargo space to secure those items. I tend to max out my backpacks depending on the situation. And in this case, I did just that. In this backpack, I was able to carry a Canon EOS R with a 24 to 105, a Canon EOS R6 with a 16 millimeter attached, and also a 14 to 35. The deep area allowed me to carry some extra cargo. I had a small bag with an extra mic in it. I also had a small drawstring bag that allowed me to carry a lot of my art size tripod accessories in it. Moving on, I had a 35 millimeter lens in one of the compartments. I was also able to duck in a headlamp and a battery charger, a beanie and a couple of gloves, an 800 millimeter long lens, a rocket blower, I also had a filter case that carries my Freewell filters, carried a torch or a flashlight. My next two items are two of my favorites. They keep my batteries stored and in order. I used to just throw them all in the bags and I didn't know which one was charged and which one wasn't. So I made a little system. So I just put an F for full. So I place them up when they're full and turn them the other way when they're obviously drained out. So that was something I was looking forward to organizing myself with for a long time and I'm glad I purchased those two little pouches to hold those batteries. The other one is my new SD card holder. I love this format. Now it's a little bit bulkier, but I love the foam inside. It really does protect those SD cards and I just love the ease of use for it and the storage of it. It holds a lot of them if you require that many it's perfect then even holds the little mini SD cards as well. If you want to take a further look, all of these items are down in the description below. And now let's take a look at the inside of the backpack. You can organize the inside of the backpack in a variety of different ways. It comes with a total of eight partitions. It comes with two accessory straps and a sternum strap. Now let's take a look at the outer pouch or the backside storage. This section opens in a single direction with one zipper only. I will admit that upon opening, it only flaps open and does not necessarily butterfly open or pull all the way down on both sides. So that I would give it a con for, but nonetheless, it's a smaller form factor on this backpack. They have other sizes. So if you're looking for a bigger size backpack, then you would probably go with that where it has the full pull down zippers on both sides. But nonetheless, I've been able to get used to it. Inside of this pouch area, I carry a small first aid kit. I also throw in some miscellaneous extra step up and step down rings. And who knows what else you're gonna find in there. A DJI Osmo Action, a charger, a miscellaneous cable. There's also an inside zipper pouch, which you can hold headphones, lightning adapter accessory, another cable, another plug charger, and you can always use some electrical tape. It has a nice and sturdy top handle. It also has a vertical handle in the center where your back would be placed, but that also can be used to travel with and put it on your carry-on luggage. It has two nice sturdy shoulder straps. The sternum adapter is easy to use for extra stability. Of course, there's adjustability on the shoulder straps. There's also a side access to quickly access your camera if need be. There's also a side top compartment where I house a plastic camera cover and also some lens wipes. On the other side of the pack, there's a flexible pouch that you can put other accessories in or a tripod and also a strap that you can utilize to secure the tripod. On the bottom of the pack, you can attach the two straps that come with the backpack and there you can affix another tripod or a small blanket or even a sweatshirt. The one thing that I forgot to mention that I added to this backpack was the PJY camera clip. 
It's very similar to the Peak Design camera clip, but I actually like it a little better. It's just a lot simpler to release, and I like that it's on the outside, even though I could turn this the other way. I really like this on the left side, and I'm able to just grab the camera, release with my left hand, boom, I'm off to the races. I can record or I can take photos immediately. I really like this camera clip. It has different options to secure it to the shoulder straps. At any rate, I've been really happy with this. And this is also down in the description below so you can take a further look. I would give this backpack a very unscientific, strong eight out of 10. I really like its design, it's well built. It can handle itself in different types of weather and it's been pretty rugged. I've gotten it super dirty and it cleans up really well. And even traveling, I've been able to lighten it up. While I traveled out here, as you see, I'm in a hotel room. I was able to convert it to my day pack as I was actually walking around the conference with it here at South by Southwest. So I've really enjoyed having this backpack for the last five months and uh, all the gear that I've had in it has really worked out well. I don't have that 100% dialed in. And as you saw, it wasn't super pretty as everything is laid out there, but it's not a problem out in the field because as it opens up, you're able to see everything that you want and kind of just move things around and grab the things that you do need. Outside of that, I love it. I love it. So with that, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.